Ah, if only Miss Fenn could be a hero. Well, my dad's off fighting the black ones. We serve her who is bird and mother and crone. What do you want? I'm looking for Hammond. What for? Business. He prays at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, you'll have to wait till he's done. He's praying? Wouldn't have thought him a God-fearing man from what I've heard about him. Hmm. Yet it's not something that would surprise any man who knows him. Another snoop. You know the drill. Out of a jail on your
go. You know who you've crossed.
you out. Now the grave will take you back. Oh. Oh. of the sea. I've never begrudged you no gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offer in the minute. Don't mind me. Fuck, what now? Heard you were in Keratin's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spin it out, you arse-lickin' bastard. I'm looking for Yad Karadin. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Karadin. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad pricks the wrong way? Plowing gills. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! Great You're fucking Just asking for it. <laughs> But finding me proved no simple task, for having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. 
For indeed, I knew what had happened to Siri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the temple guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. What the hell took you? Pretty likely Keratin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something, too. He trades in, uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name, too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Salise? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. All right, let's pay Carrot in a visit. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little tots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. Remains to be seen. Witchers can't have children. But they can have boards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. My friend needs to talk to you. Lads, take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker.
Your wife know who you were? We are thoroughly honest with one another, harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day, with a clean slate. Nice place you got. As it turned out, I have a flair for enterprise. Now I have coin enough to provide my family with the finer things in life. With some left over for philanthropy. Miss Marabella's institute does not scorn small donations. Neither does the city's Widows and Orphans Relief Fund, amongst others. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him. We were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. I've heard enough. What now? You've changed. You have. Forgiveness. It's my sole aim now. You're buying this bullshit? Bastard's lying his ass off. Leave him. Let's go. You off your fucking nut? Lambert, this is one of those situations when you have to realize you're pissed as hell. Rein it in, and trust your cool-headed friend. Let's go. For fuck's sake, Geralt. Don't know that I'll be able to forgive you. I said let's go. You can always come back. Thank you. Explain yourself. Don't intend to. Just felt Keratin didn't deserve to be murdered in cold blood. If you feel otherwise, you can always go back. Without me. I feel like beating the shit out of you. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert. Nothing works up a thirst. Can we talk? What about? Ever play Gwent? Of course. Even tried to teach Vesemir, but turned out he's just mule-headed. Why do you ask? Up for a quick hand? <laughs> Am I? Have you crying like a baby by the time I'm through with you?
win. Oh, I can't believe I gotta give up my unique card. Better your hands than someone else's, I guess. As Yennefer of Vengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers, and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krakenkrait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. <laughs> 